Well, thanks for joining us this morning. Let's get a look at what's happened this weekend. Roger Williams Park Zoo is the place to be. It opened its dragons and mystical creatures exhibit earlier this month. Ashley Erling is live in Providence with a closer look at the unique event running through August. How's it going out there, Ashley? Hey, well, the zoo is always a great time, as everyone knows, but this summer they have this really cool new exhibit. You can probably hear some of what's going on around me, and Stacey Johnson is the executive director here at the zoo, and he is going to tell us all about dragons and mythical creatures. Good morning, Stacey. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here today. It's a beautiful spring day at the zoo. This is a gorgeous day. It's nice out. It's pleasant. It's warm, and we got dragons. We got dragons, and we got mythical creatures. We really kind of went crazy with our imaginations this year. We wanted to connect the idea that when humans don't have a good rational explanation for something, they kind of create one. And so we have mythical creatures from all around the world. And the dragons kind of are the headliners because dragons have different roles in cultures all over the world. And in, in Japan and China, dragons are actually wisdom and protection, right? Where we usually think about dragons as being, you know, knights and princesses and fire-breathing ferocity. Dragons have different reputations all over the world. And so we're kind of telling those stories. And, you know, behind us over our shoulder, there's some other creatures like the Cyclops from, from ancient Greece and, and the abominable snowman. So there's it's an adventure for everybody and, and a lot to learn, too. It's so cool because there is, you know, these are mythical creatures, but there is a lot of, you know, learning to be had here, like you said, how it kind of ties into who we are and the cultures of the world. And what I also thought was really cool, Stacey, you were telling me this is the first time all of these creatures are kind of coming together in a zoo setting. You guys have really helped kind of curate this. This is a brand new, unique experience that no one else in the world has seen before. We're really proud of that. We're, we're partnering with Immersive Productions and we're grateful for our, to our sponsors for giving us some, some kind of creative license to really create this story and tell it. And we're hoping that zoos all over the country pick it up. And this is going on now through through the summer, what should people know if they're going to come out and do this? You know, people know, come to the zoo, look at the animals. How does this immersive experience work? So this is one where we, we recommend that people buy their tickets online anyway, just because on busy days, that way avoid, you avoid the lines, right? Um, the Dragons and Mythical Creatures is an add-on ticket, so you, it's zoo, zoo admission plus. Uh, and it's it could be anywhere from a 15-minute walk to, to half an hour, 45 minutes. And we've got some experiences that are part of this that I know we're going to talk about and see in a few minutes. Stacey, uh, this is not your your first rodeo on TV because I was just going to say you want to stick around because coming up we've only begun here we're going to check out there's actually some rides that you can take part in as well and